Now, one of the most important aspects of doing any project online is security for your PC, making sure it's secure from viruses, worms, trojans, uh, rootkits, dialers, spyware, etc. During the process of creating your online shop, you will need to download various elements. Now, with these elements, there may be some nasty stuff hidden within. So if you don't already have security, antivirus security, anti-malware security on your PC or on your device, you will need to have that installed. Well, I would highly recommend that you would have that installed and up to date in order to keep out those nasties. A very good product that I use is Malware Antibytes and you can get a free trial version of that by simply clicking the link and that will bring you straight over to the Malware Bytes website. Another product that I use is System Mechanic Professional and again you can click on the link there and that will bring you over to the System Mechanic Professional website and as you can see with System Mechanic Professional you get five in one tools which includes antivirus and anti-spyware protection. Now also I've put links to a few other different PC security products and there's many many more available out there so it's just a case of you deciding which one is right for you uh, maybe google some reviews on the product if it's something that you have to purchase some of them do give you free trials so maybe worth going down the, the road of uh, trialing a few of them for yourself now another consideration when you're hosting and running your own website is the possibility of a cyber attack on your hosting account. This did happen to me once but lucky enough I was with a good hosting company, Arvex Web Hosting. They automatically back up my website every day or so so I just had to roll back to an earlier version of my website. Now the only thing I was missing was the sales generated for that day. Because I get uh, notified by email when I have a customer I didn't actually lose any data at all. However uh, it worried me enough that I looked into getting some security for the hosting account and I've done this through 6scan. Now you can click on the link and go to 6scan. And if you ever do have a problem with your hosting, you can simply enter your email address and website address here and click on the free scan here and they will scan your website for you and they will tell you where the vulnerabilities are or if there's any. They'll also give you the file path so you can go and look and see if you can rectify any issues yourself. Alternatively, you can take out a plan with them uh, for a price. This will mean your hosting account will be automatically protected. Something you may not need to do initially, but definitely worth bearing in mind for the future. Now another thing to look out for when you're using the internet is in your browser's address bar, uh, particularly if you're making any financial transactions or dealing with any secure information, is the actual website address itself. And for instance, we can see here on the 6scan website, we have uh, just got 6scan. It's not indicating that it's a protected site at all. Uh, obviously, when you advance into it, there may be protected pages. Now what I mean by this is we just have a look at PayPal for instance and here on PayPal we can see the HTTPS now this stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. Now the S is the thing we need to be looking out for here and this is indicating that we're on a secure page. So just generally speaking uh, for the internet, uh, look out for that S. It's one indication that you're on a secure page. Most websites aren't going to have the S after the HTTP and there's nothing to worry about there uh, unless you're inputting your credit card details or something along that line. Now another thing to look out for here when you log into a site with some browsers they ask you if you want to save the password and um, not a good idea if you're sharing the computer with somebody else because your login details would be saved now this would apply obviously to your store or whatever other sites that you're using that would require a login so it may be a good idea to like uh, never for this site 
And one final piece of advice here for the username, more often than not, it would default to a username on a lot of sites as admin. Now, the hackers uh, obviously would be aware of this and half the job of getting into somebody's account or their website or something is to know their username. The other half is to know the password. So if your username is admin, it's going to be on a list of usernames that a hacker is going to try to use when trying to log into your site. Now, it wouldn't be anything personal. It'd be just some very clever guy sitting at his uh, computer and sending out an automated program of sorts that would attack a group of sites, not just yours, uh, to just attack a group of sites, maybe on a hosting company or something like that. So just a good idea not to have the username as admin. Think of something that may be unique to yourself. And of course, as always, uh, don't share your password. Try and memorize your password that you don't have it wrote down anywhere for somebody to come across by accident.